Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. And we're back live and direct with another brand new fall edition of RxMuscle.com's world famous Recap Wednesday. And we have a loaded show lined up for you today. So we're jumping right into the action with a look back at last weekend's Kentucky Muscle Pro. The number one spot in the men's physique division went to rookie star Cameron Harris, who was as good as advertised here. Coming in second, we had veteran Derek Stevenson, and closing out a solid top three group was Kentucky's own Benquil Margini. In the Masters figure, it was all about D. Jackson, who came in and stole the show by putting together her best look ever. The runner-up spot went to Sarah Kornhauser, and rounding out the third place slot here was Tina Treguero. Out in the City of Angels, we had one of the biggest men's physique lineups of the year tear down the house at the Titan Pro. But when the smoke finally cleared, it was our pre-show favorite, Stan Morrison, who ended up as the last man standing. The number two spot went to sophomore standout Antonio Smothers, who looks like he could be dangerous coming down the back stretch of the schedule. San Diego's Will Sage did the job and was rewarded with a third place finish for his efforts as he nudged out eventual fourth place finisher Paco Hunain Saquib. And finishing out our top five here was second year man Frank Worley. Deep down in the Alamo City of San Antonio, Texas, we had a couple of good old American fashion shootouts in the men's physique division and bikini divisions at this year's edition of the San Antonio Pro. We're starting things off in the men's physique division here, where second year pro Corey Morris put together his all time best on his way to earning his first career win. The number two slot went to surging Roderick Clark, and coming in third, we had rookie Clarence. Mick Spadden. The top spot in the bikini division went to the unstoppable Chris Pajares, who cruised to an easy win here. A strong performance from Jasmine Gonzalez was enough to secure the number two slot, and closing out the top three in the open division was Vanilla Augusti. On the Masters side, Carrie Ann Hennick was flawless as usual, on her way to collecting yet another win. The runner-up slot went to Bridget Gold, and wrapping up the top three here was Dallas' own Andy Cazole. Way over on the other side of the Pacific, there was some A-level action going down in Seoul, South Korea at the Monsters Zim Pro, which ended up being even better than advertised. Of course, the big story here came out of the men's open division, where Nathan DeAsher continued his post-Olympia dominance with a huge win, where he just narrowly edged out guys like Juan Morel in second and on win in third on his way to a big payday. In the 212 division, it was all about Hide Yamagishi, who ran away with this thing from the word go and never looked back. And in the bikini division, South Korean native Sarah Koi stole the show in what was only her second pro contest as she scored a gigantic win in front of her hometown crowd. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh.